Welcome back to Online Family Storytime. My name's Miss Katie, and I'm so glad to see you today. Well, friends, today is our last session. That means it's our last Online Family Storytime for this spring. And then we're going to take a break for summertime. And be sure to check out all our fun summer programs because we're going to have a bunch. But we're going to take a little break from our online family story time. But don't worry, we'll have plenty of other great programs for you, okay? Well, let's get started with our last online family story time. Do you remember our hello song? Of course you do. Here we go. Can you say hello when you wiggle to and fro? Can you reach up high? Can you reach down low? Can you shrug your shoulders? Can you touch your nose? Can you say hello? Hello. Can you say your days of the week? You can? Oh, great. Let's do that next. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we start again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we start again. Fantastic job. Fantastic. Now, shall we check out what the mail carrier brought? See what our letter is this final week? What do you think it is? We only have a few more letters to fit up on our letter tree. What do you think it could be this week? Ah, huh? I hear some great guesses. Let's see what our clues are. Ooh. That, my friends, is a quail. Qu -qu quail type of bird. All right, so we have a quail. Hmm, who is that lady? That is the Queen of England. Qua, qua, queen. What? What is that symbol? What is that? Yeah, it's a question mark. Question mark. What's a question mark? A question mark is how you end a question. So if you're asking a question, you were writing it down, you would put a question mark at the end of your sentence to let people know it's a question. So instead of you saying, it's a nice day today, you said, it's, it's a nice day today, isn't it? That's a question. How are you today? Question. What is this? Question. All of those would end in a question mark. Sometimes you see these over cartoons, like when they're puzzled, they don't know what's going on. Yes? Have you ever seen a cartoon do that? Maybe, sometimes. Maybe that was just back in my day. I don't know. All right, so we have a question mark, a queen, and a quail. What letter makes a qua, qua sound? Mm hmm. Yes, 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 I think you know. Are you ready? You ready for our last letter? Are you sure that's your final answer? You really think that's the letter? Okay, on the count of three, let's say it together. One, two, three. Q! Q was our letter today. K, K, Q. Makes a qu, qu sound. What a lovely letter. Let's put it up on the letter tree and sing our ABCs. Hope there's enough room up there. It's getting pretty crowded. 
we have hung our Q up in our letters tree. Let's sing our ABCs. I'm gonna get my hand ready so I can do the American Sign Language version of ABCs. All right, are we ready? Let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Bravo! Bellissimo! Wonderful job, my friends. Well, I think it's time for a story. Are you ready for a story? Me too. I'm gonna get ready to sing our story song, though. <clears throat> Are you ready? Here we go. If you're ready for a story, then clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, then clap your hands. Clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, then stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, then stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, then nod your head. Nod your head. Nod your head. If you're ready for a story, then nod your head. Nod your head. If you're ready for a story, then sit so still. Sit so still. Sit so still. If you're ready for a story, then sit so still. Sit so still. Shh. Fantastic. You're sitting so quietly. Quiet starts with a Q also. And that is what our story is about. Our story is called Be Quiet, Mike. It's by Leslie Patricielli. Now, Mike likes to be loud and not everyone enjoys his loudness. So we're gonna figure out how he can channel his love of loudness in a productive and constructive way. Be quiet, Mike. This is a story about a monkey named Mike who started drumming as a tiny little tyke. Kick, thump, pow, kick, thump, pow. He played with his fingers, he played with his feet, a funky little monkey with a beat, beat, beat. Thunk, thunk, rattle, rattle, mm choo, mm choo, pat, pat. Bing bong. Bing, his rhythm would sing, but poor Monkey Mike heard only one thing. He heard it from his parents, he heard it from his sis, he heard it from the neighbors, and it sounded like this. Be quiet, Mike. Maybe he'll grow out of it, said his mom and pop. But as Mike grew older, his rhythms didn't stop. He played on the table like a wild baboon. He played on the dolls in his sister's room. But everywhere he played, he heard the same tune. Be quiet, Mike. He tried to be quiet, he tried to be still, but the beat of his heart was stronger than his will. Baboon, 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 baboon. Mike was good at school, he wasn't one for yapping, but with pencils everywhere, he couldn't stop tapping. No noise was the rule all day long, and every single day he heard the same old song. Be quiet, Mike. Then one day he was walking with his pop when he passed by the window of a big music shop. And that's where he saw it, shiny like a jet. A real live, full-size, jamming drum set. And 
And there at the drum sat an ape with long fur, beating so fast, arms and legs a blur. He boomed on a bass drum, rolled on a snare, banged on a floor tom, sticks in the air. Boom chick, boom chick, zat zoom crash, hi hat, hi hat, bass tom smash. Mike's heart was in pieces. He couldn't deny it. He wanted that set and he just couldn't buy it. But that want got him dreaming. That need made him think. Aha, an idea. It arrived in a blink. Mike took out his sketch pad and started to draw. His mind had a picture. He sketched what he saw. Then he really got to work. His room was a disaster. He ripped tape, clanged metal faster and faster. Hammer bang, hammer bang, ding boom bam, rip tape, rip tape, tie glue wham. When Mike was all through, he sat down on his throne, twirled his sticks, and made a sound all of his own. Diggity diggity, zet zoom crash, coffee can, coffee can, pop pan splash. He rolled on his bucket, rang on his chimes, pulled out his bananas, and played in double time. Mike played so hard, he fell off his seat, but even on the floor, he never missed a beat. First chimes, then a fill, a boom, then he stopped and looked up in surprise. It was his mom, sis, and pop. His mom started clapping, then his dad, then his sis. They hooted and they cheered and they blew him a kiss. And do you know what they said? Well, it sounded like this. Play louder, Mike. The end. Wow, can you believe it? He made his own drum set. That's amazing. Have you ever wanted something really bad, but just couldn't afford it? Or your parents said, no, not today. Well, that's what happened to Mike. And what did he do? He used his brain and he thought and thought and then he figured out how to make something his very own. That's awesome. And he just had to get his music out, right? He had music in him and he was always playing drums everywhere. And that annoyed some people. So he took it upon himself to make his own drum set where he could make awesome music and people appreciated his fine talents. So this tells you, don't give up on your dreams. Always keep trying and you can succeed as well, okay? Well, thank you, Mike, for that wonderful lesson of ingenuity and persistence and being yourself. Next, we are going to make our craft our craft today is going to be a crown. Now I know crown doesn't start with Q, it starts with C, but queens wear crowns. <laughs> and I thought um, it's fun to make crowns and it's fun to wear crowns. So we are going to make a crown. Okay, let's get started on our crown. Now crowns can look however you would like them to look. I happen to have some of these sticky things laying around. I have some sequins and I have some glitter. First things first, you want to measure your head. <laughs> you want to use a piece of string and wrap it around and see how big your head is. And then you need to make sure that you have a piece of paper that will fit around your head. And you can do that in a couple different ways. You can do it like I'm going to do, which is just take a regular piece of paper and do the front of the crown. And then I'm going to cut strips and attach them to the sides to make it go all the way around my head and then tape it in the back. If you want the full effect of the crown, you may have to make numerous pieces of paper um, and put tape them together to make it all the way around your head. 
I would have to use three. You would probably only have to use two, but you would tape them together to make your crown. So, do you boo? This is how I'm going to do it. So first, I'm going to make the pattern of my crown. Now, I've always seen crowns to be like pointy, right? Like you see the up, down, up, down. So, classic crown, that's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to find my center of the paper. It's in measuring. So 12, not quite 12 inches though. No, oh, yep, yeah, 12 inches now that I did that. Okay, 12 inches, so six will be my center. Right there. And then I'm going to do two other points. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So one, two, three. That'll be another mark. And one, two, three, mark. All right, that's where my points are going to be. So, and I've measured that and that. How tall do I want my points? I want them to be pretty tall. So, there's one, two, two, three. Now, all right, here are my points. Don't worry about the pencil marks. We're gonna, that's gonna be the inside, so we are gonna flip it over, it's gonna be fine. So now we're gonna cut out our points and get on with our decorating. Okay, my crown is cut out and I put a glitter catch underneath here because so I'll be using some glitter. But first, I'm going to add my design. So I like a nice, there's some peels, but you can also just, oh, these are pretty old. I don't know if they're actually going to stick. Glue stick. So I'm going to put this down as my jewel and you can just decorate it however you want to if you have stickers if you have heart stickers like i do or if you have ninja turtle stickers because you like ninja turtles it doesn't matter it's how you want to decorate it see there's a pretty jewel or i was also thinking about layering this like this eh. yeah i kind of like that Like I said, decorate them however you want to decorate them. There we go. And I'm going to put on a heart just because I can. There we go. Now on the other two, I'm going to do some other hearts because I like hearts. Again, remember, if you like kitties, put some kitty stickers or draw a kitty on there. You know, you can draw whatever you'd like. So it's your crown. It represents what you enjoy. All right. Doubling up my hearts here. There we go. I also recommend coloring if you like coloring. I am going to do a little, see if my glitter sticks on the glitter stick, on the glue stick glue. Sometimes it's not enough glue. We're about to find out though, aren't we? Because you don't know unless you try. Got lots of glue. I'm just going to dump glitter all over and see what sticks. Pretty shiny. You can see where we missed spots, eh? 
No problem. That can be a stylistic choice, or you can just add some more glue. Let's see if that <laughs> now my glue's all covered in glitter. I don't know if it's gonna stick now. <laughs> all right. Try again. There. Look at all the glitter. Glitter fingers. All right, now I'm going to add some beautiful sparkles. Oh, now we're getting fancy. All right, I have glued on my jewels, and I'm going to attach my extenders. Hindsight, you probably should do this before you decorate, but I did not, so here we go. I just cut out two pieces of paper, or two strips of paper, and I'm going to tape them to my crown. Like so. Two pieces of tape on each side. Feel free to use more if you'd like. Right now, it's taped. And our extenders are done. Now you can continue to decorate the extender. Or you can leave it like this, and then you're going to wrap this part around your head for the measurement, like this, and tape it again so it fits your head. Now we tape both sides, and voila, a beautiful crown for any royal would be happy to have. Well, friends, thanks for hanging out with me this session. I had so much fun reading stories and singing songs and making all those fun crafts. Don't forget, this isn't the end of all the programs. This is just the end of this session of this program. This summer, we're gonna have tons of other fun things to do. So check out our website for different events, okay? Well, until then, see you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Not too soon, baboon. Bye-bye, butterflies.